Although Hurricane Ian hit Florida more than a week ago, its impacts are still being felt as people deal with shuttered schools, power shortages, contaminated water, wrecked houses, and the loss of loved ones. Neighborhoods along Florida's Gulf Coast took a direct hit. Tampa resident Molly Simmons told us she prepared for the worst. Um, it was supposed to be like a cat five at my house. So we literally just, my parents like bought a bunch of food and like put all of our animals in like a place with no windows. And um, cause we don't have basements, so it's hard to like hide in Florida. Um, and then again, put like all the furniture in the pool. The storm came ashore farther south as a category four. Thankfully, Molly's family ended up not getting hit by the hurricane. However, the Category 4 hurricane with winds up to 150 miles per hour ended up hitting areas such as Fort Myers, Naples, Punta Gorda, and Cape Coral the hardest. Now, even though the skies have cleared, many Floridians are returning to find their communities unrecognizable. President Biden toured damaged areas this week with Florida's governor and offered words of encouragement. Today, we have one job, and only one job, and that's to make sure the people of Florida get everything that they need to fully, thoroughly recover. A long, daunting recovery lies ahead for storm victims across the state. I'm Aliyah Brown for the Center County Report.